dun, dun, dun. Well, welcome back to Adventures in XNA. This is part three, and I am Ardermus. In this segment, I will be showing you how to set up a screen management system for your XNA project. This system was developed by Calamus One. We thank you very much for your uh, hard work on that. Uh, in this segment, we will be setting up a screen management class, and then we'll be setting up a base screen as well, uh, followed by a test screen and a debug screen. If you're wondering what these screens can be used for in your game, uh, they can really be used for a number of things, including uh, menus, um, dialogue, and uh, battle screens, and uh, all sorts of things, including our world screen that our character will be walking around on. It's pretty awesome stuff, and it really simplifies a lot of things going down the road. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. I will be picking up where we left off in part two. So if you don't have that uh, source code, you may want to go back and review those uh, earlier episodes or just download it from the links available at the bottom of the previous video. So let's go ahead and start out by creating a new folder in our project. Over in the Solution Explorer, we're going to right click on our project name and add a new folder. We're going to call this one Screen Manager. And this is where we will store our screen management class and our base screen. All of our uh, child screens that we create throughout the game will, will inherit their values from that base screen. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, as we go along here. We'll start out by adding a new class to this new folder. Let's call that class Screen Manager. And just hit Add. That creates a new blank class for a Screen Manager. We're going to go ahead and add one more here. We're going to add another class and we will call this our base screen. All right, so we have these ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and, if you don't already have your uh, screen manager class open, you can double click on that or select it from your tab up here. The first thing we're going to do is go outside of our class here and add a public enum screen state. Okay, this will tr this will track the state of our screens. Um, we're gonna set three screen states for now to keep it simple. <clears throat> we're gonna have active, shutdown, and hidden. Oops, not hitting. All right, so we'll keep it at that for now, and then we will go ahead and jump into our base screen class. Now, first thing we want to do in this base screen class, class is set it to must inherit, okay? All right. What that means is that this class cannot be used directly to create a new object in your game. It has to be inherited by another class. So, what we will do here is add a few uh, default properties for our screens throughout the game. So we'll say public name as a string, and we'll just set that to be blank by default. And then we will have public state as screen state. Remember, we just created that. That's the uh, enumerated list of screen states. And we will set the default screen state to active. And then we will create the screen position. So we'll say public position as a single. And then we will have public focused as boolean equals false. So by default, the screen is not focused, unless we tell it to be. 
Um, finally, we will have grab focus also as a Boolean value. True. And we'll use that to actually grab focus to the screen. So uh, we'll have to set up a few default subs for, the, for this class. And uh, we will begin by adding <clears throat> a public overridable. Wow. Guy should be used to my bad typing by now. Sub. And this one will be for handling input. Okay. And that will be left blank for now. Overridable means that uh, child, child screens that are inheriting their values from this uh, will be specifying the sub values from within those subclasses. So they will actually override these uh, values that are displayed here. <clears throat> Public overridable sub update. That will be uh, handling our updates to objects in the screen. So also very important. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste here to save time. Um, the next one will be the very important draw sub. That will, of course, handle our drawings to those, cl to those screens. <clears throat> I can paste again. Here we will have the unload sub. All right. And in here, we're just going to set this to state equals screen state shut down. All right. Basically, that'll just, uh, when invoked, it will uh, shut down the screen. <clears throat> 